of the store is to treat students with the utmost dignity and respect, that's why it's not called a food pantry, um, and to help to supplement their nutritional needs. Okay, so down this aisle we have all your snacks, your treats, your cookies, your cakes, your cereals, um, milk, your non-perishables, everything you could possibly need just for a quick snack for school or any day, really. Anything you might need um, to stay clean. We have toothpaste, toothbrushes, um, shampoos, conditioners, even razors, anything you need, we got it. We've served more than 665 students since last year in November. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of support that we've been able to provide. Um, we did focus groups this summer and the feedback from the students is incredible. They are extremely humble, but so thankful for the support that not just the college, I mean the college is certainly, we're all engaged and involved, but we get a lot of support from the community. We got 1,600 students to participate, and the results were um, stunning. They were, uh, they affirmed everything that we suspected was true, but it gave us real data. So uh, we learned that of the students who responded to the sur survey, 44% were housing insecure. That's a big number. Um, and 10% of the students that responded were homeless. So, you know, the question is, what do you do? Uh, you can't ignore something that big. 41% um, of the students who responded were food insecure and 25% of the students that responded were severely food insecure, which meant they were going hungry a couple of days a month. So the store is not something that is an option. We have to do it. Can we see Alexander calling from the Student Advocacy Center? I was just calling just to give you a reminder of tomorrow. Don't forget to pick up your um, your turkey box. Um, Case management means that we um, we sit with students, we assess their needs, and then we map out a plan. Um, we aren't always able to help with everything, but we've helped with lots. We've gotten students glasses. Uh, We've helped students to find rent money and utility assistance. Those are probably two of the things that we get uh, requests for most often, and they're both tough, really tough. Um, we were able to get our center certified in the spring um, so that we can provide applications, direct applications, through the state of Texas for public benefits such as WIC and TANF and, um, well, it's called SNAP now, but people know it as food stamps. So. The Advocacy Center is really to provide a robust array of support for students for all of the things that make it really tough to be here that don't have to do with your academics, but they have a huge impact on whether you can be successful.